This video teaches you to crochet MR cucumber. Prepare about 20 cm of thread. For the cucumber tip, magic ring. Let's start crochet in the first round. Crochet 5 SC in the round. After the 5 SCs are knitted, pull in the core tight. Thread the crochet hook into the straight edge of the first SC. Crochet a sheep stitch. Tighten the coil. We are done with the first loop. Now we'll make the second loop. In the first circle of 5 straight S, hook 2 SC in each straight S. That is 8 straight S hooks and in ink. Hook two more SC in the second straight S of the first loop. This is what it looks like after four stitches. We need two stitches in each straight S. Finish the round. 10 SC to be crocheted. After 10 SC are crocheted. Thread the crochet into the first straight S. Crochet a sheep stitch. Again we tighten the loop. The second loop is complete. At the end of each subsequent lap, a sheep stitch is needed to close the loop. The third lap is 1 SC and 1 ink. 1 SC, 1 ink. This loop completes the loop. See my demo below. The first straight S weaves an SC. Second straight S weaves an ink. Third straight S weaves a SC. The fourth straight S weaves an ink. Finish the loop in this way. Increase this loop by 5 stitches. A total of 15 SC. This is what it looks like after the third loop. Now we'll start the fourth loop. The pattern for the fourth loop is 1 SC 1 ink 1 SC 1 SC 1 ink 1 SC Here's my demo. We a SC in the first straight S, 2 SC in the second straight S, that is 1 ink. We a SC in the third straight S. This completes our loop. On this loop, a total of 4 SC are knitted. In the second group it is still. 1 SC, 1 ink, 1 SC. Let's finish the loop with this pattern. 
Now for the fifth loop. The fifth loop is 3SC and N ink. After the completion of three consecutive SC, with N ink on the fourth straight S, see my demo below. With an ink on the fourth street S. Finish the loop in this pattern. This is how the fifth loop looks like. Here we go, using the previously reserved threads. Thread the crochet hook through the circle. Hook the thread out. Knitting with reserved threads In the middle of the first and second loops, find a point, insert the crochet hook, ejecting from the center of the circle. Crochet hook winding Pulling the thread out, now with 6CH. On the penultimate CH, pick a half to knit DC double crochet. Picking the half side to knit DC double crochet. Knitting ADC. Then pick up half a side on the next CH, weaving the second DC. Pick half a side on the third CH. Knitting AHDC half double crochet. On the fourth half, pick a half on the CH, weaving AHDC. Then pick a half on the last CH. Weave ASC. We pull the coil out, threading the thread into the hand sewing needle. Bringing the thread from the center to the back of the fabric. Pulling the thread tight on the back of the fabric. Hiding the threads. Cut. Now for the sixth loop. A total of twenty five SC need to be knitted from the sixth to the sixteenth loop. Each lap is 25 SC. Simpler. We won't show it again here. Next, we'll start the 17th loop. During the 17th round, need to pin the cucumber on both hands. Here's a demonstration. First, weave 8 consecutive SC.
Next, start weaving the cucumber's hand. Seven trees here. Pick half a CH on the peanut match. Knit a SC first. Pick the next half and weave a HDC. Weave another HDC on this CH half. Weave ADC here. Weave another DC. Knit another DC down. After the hook, in this street S, crocheting a sheep stitch. Then crochet 10 consecutive SC. After 10 SC crochet, chimmy or cheese. The same way you just knitted this arm. Pick the half CH. Weaving ASC. Next half. Weaving an HDC. Weave an HDC further down. And then another HDC. Three consecutive DCs. Sheep stitch in this street S. Weaving SC in the next street S. Weave 7 SC in total. We've now completed the 17th loop. Here are the two arms just finished. And now the 18th loop. The Shabazz loop is ASC with no additions or subtractions. 25 SC in one loop. 18th to 25th lap. Each lap is 25 SC. The method is relatively simple. We won't demonstrate it again. Now for the 26th loop. First weave 3 consecutive SC.
with another deck decrease. This is the pattern for this round. 3 SC and a December. We will loop with this pattern. Let's show you how it's done. Finish the loop in this way. It's the 27th loop with 1 SC, 1 deck and 1 SC. One SC, one deck, one SC. Weave through the circle with this pattern. After the 27th loop, Taking out the filling cotton and filling the body. After filling the body with padding, continuing to weave the main part. Now for the 28th round. 1 SC, 1 December. That's the pattern of the circle. Finish the loop in this way. Now start the 29th loop. There are a total of 5 decks to weave 2 stitches together. After the 29th loop, leave a long thread for breaking. Pulling the coil out, taking out the hand sewing needle. Pick the half straight as on the outside of the circle with the hand sewing needle. After the peak, tightening the coil. The seal is complete. We are going to take the rest of this thread and we are going to thread it through the middle. A few passes back and forth through the fabric.
This completes the main part of the cucumber. Now to sew the mouth of the cucumber. Counting down from the top to the ninth loop. The ninth circle is between the two little arms. Positioning the center point. Approximately one point at a time like this. Find a point like this from other locations. Threading into the center point just found. And now the cucumber's mouth is sewn. Tie these two threads in a knot. Cut off the ends of the threads. Then take out a pair of eyes. I'm using a pin insert. Above the mouth. Finding the right place for the eyes. After determining the position, paste the eyes in place. Now stitch by hand, stitching the blush on the cheeks. You can use pink or red thread. A little symmetry on both sides. Here's the blush sewn in. Finally, the thread is knotted and broken. That's it. Thanks for watching. Bye.